Hi, who are you? George Hill. George Hill. And what kind of work do we have going on here? This is a style I've just been developing over the past year. Uh, I really don't know, there's no category to it. A lot of people compare me to Peter Mack, uh, Kadensky, the German abstract artist. Some people say there's a flavor of Picasso in it. But no one really knows what to call it. Yeah, it's really nice. It has a graffiti feel to it, some of it. I really like that. It also has that kind of comic commentary sense to it. That's Can probably from the fact that I grew up, I taught myself to draw by copying comic books. Ah, yeah, very good. So, yes, yeah, very nice, very, very crazy, very... Okay, and can you tell me a little bit, let's say starting with this one, what is the idea, what's going on what in this? This here is, I call this yesterday's daydreams. And like so many of our people that had to pack up and was forced to move, she's packing up and moving and she's gazing off and these are her memories as she's thinking about everything that happened in this area everything, her good memories, her love and the sadness of leaving but she has no choice um, Let's see, this one is this one is really yummy in terms of the forms and the color This is I call a crazy horse rode in that one. The whole thing is one Oh, the whole thing, awesome, okay, let's and, see uh, To my oh. mind Crazy Horse was a beautiful man, but he was like a rattlesnake with the image of the rattlesnake on his horse. As long as you left him alone, he was fine. But if you bothered him, he could get very deadly very fast. Yes. And when he rode in and surrendered, he had 700 warriors with him. That's what that represents. Oh, awesome. And that really has a good feel for like massive movement. Nice. And then, but when he come in, he was one of the last holdouts of the more elder indigenous culture. It was a change of guard, a change of culture, a change of reality. And when there's a major change, birds for some reason can sense it. And they get nervous. And, you know, before a storm, they flock together, they fly, flitter and fly around. That's what this oh, one, the birds can sense that change coming. They don't know what it is, but it's there and it makes them nervous. And there's hidden images of the film. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, I like the way it is kind of has a doodle feeling to it, but also a very fine art feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. T.C. Cannon is one of my favorite artists. Yeah. That is a rendition of him. <laughs> that one, that right. That photograph when he oh, said the studio. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, very good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and, what, and this one, something about a newspaper or a book or a painter. That's my ledger artist. Oh, very good. He's got his <laughs> ledger book out, the ideas flowing across. Oh, nice. And he's and just thinking about painting, but he's got the horse on the back of his mind as he's thinking about painting. Oh, nice. Thank you. That's awesome about creativity. Oh, so good. Good. Thank you. Um, if people want to find your work, where do they go online? Uh, I don't have anything online. Yeah, no. I live on the reservation out in the country. We have no access. What res are you from? Spokane Reservation, Spokane. Washington State. Oh, okay. Um, okay, are you on Facebook at all or anything no. like that? Okay. Um, if people would like to like purchase some of your work, how would they find you? Reach they, you? Here we go. A lot of people, what they do is they call me. Okay, that's good. Or write to me that they, they, I send them pictures of what I got on hand. Awesome. And then they contact me. All right, thank you so much. You bet.